if the following series is absolutely convergent, conditionally convergent or divergent. So we got an alternating series because of this factor negative 1 to the n produces negative when n equals 1, the second term will be positive, negative, etc. Okay. So let's try if it converges absolutely. That means we have a n and we want to consider a series with absolute a n and that absolute value will take care of this negative 1 to the n. I mean this will be all positive. Okay. And if that series, if this series converges, then we say this series converges absolutely. Okay, let's look at that. So we got this series. Let me write down this one is a n. So series n from 1 through infinity of absolute a n. Okay, that is n from 1 through infinity of this is going to be all positive so 1 over cube root of n which is n raised to 1 third okay so 1 over n raised to 1 third as we have seen before this is a p series 1 over n raised to p and if this p is bigger than 1 this series converges if this p is 1 or less than 1, this series diverges. So 1 third, that is p less than 1, this is less than 1, less than 1, that means the series diverges. Okay, this series diverges, the region is p series with p equals one third less than one. Okay, so all we proved here first, this is not complete, we showed that this series does not converge absolutely or, or this is not absolutely convergent. Okay, how about, how about conditionally convergent or maybe divergent, we'll see. So this is an alternating series and we know that for an alternating series, we can use the alternating series test to see if the series converges. Okay, so this is a n, and as we have seen, uh, we we denote this by just b n. This is just the term b n. The alternating series test a s t. The alternating series test to show if an alternating series converges, we need to show following two things. We need to show Bn's are decreasing. Bn, the next term, B plus 1, that should be smaller than the previous. Okay. Then, not only Bn's should decrease, they should decrease to 0. That means when we take limit of Bn as n goes to infinity, it has to go to 0. If these two conditions are satisfied, then this series converges. Okay? But if one of these two fails, we cannot conclude anything. Let's see. So here, Bn's are 1 over n raised to 1 third cube root of n. Okay, uh, what is the next term? Bn plus 1 would have been 1 over n plus 1 raised to 1 third. And we know that when the bottom is bigger, the denominator is bigger because n, we got n plus 1, n plus 1 is bigger, that means the fraction is smaller. The whole fraction is smaller. So Bn, Bn plus 1, Bn plus 1 is indeed smaller than Bn because bottom, the denominator is bigger means the fraction is smaller. Okay, that's true. Now, we want to find the limit of Bn as n approaches to infinity. That is limit of 1 over n raised to 1 third 
as n goes to infinity. So when n goes to infinity, that is infinity raised to one third on the bottom, that's very big, and one over very big is zero. Okay, so both conditions for the alternating series test are satisfied. That means by the alternating series test, the given series converges. Okay, so we showed two things. When we looked at absolute value, then diverges. But if we just con consider the given series, which is an alternating series, by the way, because of negative one to the n, it converges. That means we call the series converges conditionally, or the series is conditionally convergent. Thus, the series is conditionally convergent. Okay, all that means it's this series converges itself, but if we take absolute value, it diverges.